please discuss why this study was conducted. Um, as a neurourologist, a lot of my patients have uh, impaired compliance secondary to their uh, neurologic injury. A subset of those patients don't respond to medical therapy. Historically, the best treatment for patients who don't respond to medical management uh, in treatment of their impaired bladder compliance would be augmentation cystoplasty or formal urinary diversion. Uh, surgical therapies carry a lot of inherent risk, a lot of morbidity, and we were hoping to find an alternative uh, to surgical intervention for patients who have continued impaired bladder compliance uh, following failed medical management. And how are patients with neurogenic lower urinary tract dysfunction and poorly compliant bladders generally treated? Typically, they're treated with antispasmodic therapy, either anticholinergic drugs or beta-3 agonists, such as mirbegron. What were some of the notable findings from your study, and were any of them surprising to you and your uh, co-authors? We found that patients who failed medical management uh, that were treated with intravesical Botox injections, of those patients, about a third of them were able to avoid more aggressive surgical therapy. So it certainly wasn't perfect for everybody, but about a third of our patients were able to avoid major surgery. Do you and your co-authors uh, plan to conduct further research on this topic? And if so, what would the focus be? We do. One of our secondary goals of the study was to determine which patients would be, uh, if we could predict which patients are going to have a positive outcome following Botox injections. But fortunately, in this study, we weren't able to uh, tell who was going to fail and who was going to succeed. So hopefully with further study, with a larger patient population, we get a better sense um, uh, of which patients would do well following Botox injections for treatment of impaired bladder compliance. Uh, what would you say is the take-home message for the practicing urologist? If you have a neurogenic patient with impaired compliance who has failed medical management, uh, certainly consider Botox injections. Following the treatment, however, I do recommend urodynamic studies uh, to objectively prove that the patient has improvement in bladder compliance.